Welcome back! In this video, we will learn what daily jots are in AmpleNote, how to insert and edit rich content inside your daily jots, and some tips and tricks for navigating to your current daily jot. In AmpleNote, daily jots are notes that are created automatically every day. These notes are always titled after the current date and they are also tagged with the tag daily jots. This is by default and it helps keep them more organized. The best place to browse and edit your jots is in jots mode, which you can access using the left hand side sidebar menu. AmpleNote creates a new jot for the current day as soon as you start typing something in this field. You can also see previous daily jots if you scroll down in this view. If you are used to jotting down stuff inside a physical notebook, daily jots are a pretty close analog to that. Every day you can start from scratch with a fresh new page. Daily jots are great for journaling or quickly capturing ideas that you would rather not carry around in your head all day. In this series of videos, we will cover both journaling and capturing in more depth, but for now, let's look over the mechanics of daily jots inside AmpleNote. Because daily jots are just ordinary notes, you can also view a jot individually in notes mode. You might notice that by comparison, notes mode has more visible tools for writing and editing content. For example, I can use this button to create a new task in my jot or I can use this button to create a new heading. Going back to jots mode, you might notice that there is no editing toolbar here. That's because jots mode is designed to be a minimalist and distraction-free environment. In fact, if I want to get even more immersed into my writing experience, I can press ALT and left square bracket or OPTION and left square bracket and this will hide the left hand side panel so that I will only see the contents of my jot. Back to formatting now. When in jots mode, there are three main ways to insert more complex formatting elements inside my jot. The first one is by invoking the corresponding keyboard shortcut. The second is by inserting the correct markdown syntax. And the third is by using the slash command menu. So, for example, if I want to create a heading, I have three options. Number one, I can press Control shift one on my keyboard. Number two, I can type a bang or hashtag symbol followed by space. And finally, if I cannot remember any of the key combinations, the third way is to simply use the slash menu and start typing in the word heading. There are plenty of other options available for formatting the contents of my jots. For example, I can use the slash menu to create a task. Then I can use the command to mark this task as important. Or, I can use the slash menu to insert a table at the current position. In AmpleNote, there are a few small and convenient ways in which you can quickly view and edit your daily jot. For example, wherever I am inside the app, I can type Command-O or Control-O to bring up the quick open menu. From there, I can start typing in the word jots and press enter, and this will jump straight into jots mode. Alternatively, I can do the same and type in the word today instead and press enter. And if instead of pressing enter at this step, I press command enter or control enter, the current daily jot will be opened individually in the sidebar instead. This is very useful if I want to edit other notes or work on the calendar while also having my daily jot visible. 
The other way in which daily jots are favored by the app is when capturing tasks. For example, if I use the quick add menu in the bottom right corner, my current daily jot will always be displayed at the top or near the top of the list. So, you can start using daily jots right away for journaling thoughts throughout the day, as well as capturing ideas so that you don't have to remember them. Your jots are created for you every day and they are always accessible no matter where in the app you are working from.